welcome back to Vlogmas and in today's video we're covering a very highly requested topic how to start your fitness journey so this can be one of the biggest struggles that a lot of people have because a lot of people sometimes start and stop or they're just not sure where to start in general depending on where you're at so I'm gonna give you five tips today on some things that you can do to help you start your fitness journey and have greater success over the long term so let's start with number one you need to really ask yourself, are you interested in your fitness journey and actually starting it? Or are you committed to making it happen? I've had a lot of people say that they're interested, they're ready to try, or try um, that they wanna do it by so-and-so, but they're not really verbalizing or giving themselves the words that actually sound like they're committed or doing the actions that are required to be committed in the process. Um, instead of saying try, well maybe you need to say I am, I'm going to give yourself a deadline. Those types of words and mindsets will help you approach this process with greater success. Because it's important to be interested, don't get me wrong, being interested in something is usually the starting process to committing to something, but are you really going to stay in that interested state or are you really going to progress over to that state of being committed and actually taking action to make it happen? That's something that you really need to determine for yourself so that way you can truly start this process to living a healthier life, okay? Number two, start small. A lot of people when they start their health and fitness journey want to change everything known to mankind, strip everything out of their house, you know, quit all their old habits all at once and that leads you to being exhausted and tired and being unmotivated because you're frustrated because everything is going on at once. Don't do that to yourself. Start small, start making small habits changes over time. Because when you start doing small things, it allows you to get really good at that piece. And then when you're able to finish that, you can actually add something else onto it and then another and another and another. So if you work on those small habit changes, it allows this process to be not as taxing on you as an individual. And then you can actually long-term find a lifestyle that works for you with, and make it sustainable versus this quick change. Um, something that I always say is that, you know, I have it written right here, is, um, you know, you wanna have long-term progress and long-term results, which means you can't have, you know, an instant result because that means it's an instant loss. So as quickly as you gain it, you can quickly just as lose it. So it's important for you to start small, build it up and make small changes so that way you have greater success over time and you don't become overwhelmed. Number three, it kind of feeds off number two and it is to love the journey. You cannot expect to have instant results um, in, this, in this type of journey. It's just not reality and I hate to break it to you. But you do, especially when you're first starting, sometimes you do see some quick results and that's okay because sometimes small changes allow yourself to have your body function better. Maybe you reduce bloating. Maybe you actually start feeling a lot better because you've just been in that state of unhealth for so long that you instantly feel things. And that's okay. But that's not always gonna be the case during this journey. You're eventually gonna reach a point that you're going to have to have some discipline and really start to love the journey and find other means of progress and measuring how good you feel during this versus what's on the scale, how many inches you lose and things of that sort. So you have to learn to love the journey. So similar to the quote that I said in number two, instant results equals instant loss. A lot of time that is so true for a lot of people because if you can get those instant results, then how quickly can you lose it? So if you take time to really get to the place that you want to be, it's a lot harder to lose it, which is how you're going to have that maintainable lifestyle. That's why you're going to be able to go out to eat every now and then and have fun with your friends and family. That's why you're going to be able to go and do things and have fun and not ruin your results because you've had time to build up that lifestyle. So those specific days and times are not going to, are not going to go ruin it all for you because you've built up such a good foundation for yourself. So learn to love the journey. Number four, accountability, 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 accountability. Accountability is so key in this process, especially when you're first starting, because you have to be consistent over the long term in order to see results or feel results. If you sit there and you do hit or miss, hit or miss, you're not really going to be making progress because you're not allowing your body to have that consistency it needs in order to really believe that you're making that change. 
our bodies are smart. So you must provide it that consistency and go, okay, this is really happening for it to occur. So accountability is so key. Get a coach, have a friend, go to a workout class, go to a group or whatever the case may be. Maybe have a group of friends, find a Facebook group. Whatever the case may be, have some form of accountability because it'll help you hold to your goals and it'll also allow you to talk to somebody during the process. Something I've done recently in getting back into my journey as I've wrapped up my education is I've been scheduling a time to work out with one of my friends at school so that way I have a guaranteed time that I have to be there and I have somebody that is waiting on me and relying on me to be there as well. So I am less likely to flake and not go um, when somebody else is expecting me to be there. So it's holding me accountable. Also, when I have a coach, if I have to report back to somebody on how my progress is, I am dang more likely to do what I need to be doing when I have to tell somebody what I've been up to. So having some accountability is great. So seek other forms of accountability, either Facebook groups or friends, whatever the case may be. Um, if you wanna work with me, that's great. I have all my options below, but if you don't wanna work with me, but you just want some direction, also comment, me comment to me below or connect with me on social media and I'll point you in the right direction. Okay, I know I am not the solution to all, but I know that I can at least give you a good direction to help you find that sense of accountability that you desire. Last, but certainly not least, number five, find five, number five, educate yourself. Too many people take people's words at their word versus going and actually educating themselves in the process. Don't take my word for it. Go educate yourself. Go find some credible resources like you used to do when you, were in, when you were in high school or middle school. You had to go find credible resources and read and educate yourself. If you, if you have the education, you're less likely to fall, fall into the trap of these things that are like the instant progress or this is going to make you feel better or the detox cleanse or whatever the case may be. You'll have some foundation and have some inkling of to what's really going to work for you and what's not. And also it'll allow you to ask better questions along the way because you've taken time to educate yourself. So ways you can do this can be PubMed, you can do coaches, you can do free resources. Um, I'll link some options below. I have a really good resources that you can start with if you'd like. It's um, 10 Simple Tips How to Start Living a Healthier Life Today. It's a free ebook. It's linked in the description below as a starting point. But don't just take my word for it. Go check out some other sources. I'll have some linked below for you. One of my favorites is PubMed and some of those other science-based literature bases. And I know for a lot of people that's hard to take in that type of information. So find other means to get credible knowledge. So that way you can be educating yourself. You don't have to understand it all. You just have to have enough understanding to go, huh, that sounds right. Or huh, that doesn't sound right. Or just have an ability to ask better questions. So don't be afraid to educate yourself, okay? You always have to be growing. So those are my five tips for you to how you can start your health and fitness journey. I hope you liked them. If you want me to elaborate on anything or answer any more questions or film any other videos, please put them in the description below. Please check out that free resource I have for you in the description, the free ebook about 10 simple tips to live a healthier life today. So check it out. Let me know what questions you have. Comment below anything you want me to film or do, whatever the case may be. And I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye. Coach, which is about to change um, for my fitness. I've had a fitness coach for a very long time. Right now I have a business coach as my priorities are somewhere else, but Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. And in today's video, I'm talking, wow, talking today is a struggle. Bleh. No, 